I'm back. All right, so we got Ty back in the house, and he brought some gifts, some gifts. gifts and projects, a little bit of both. So he hit me up the other day, and uh, he was looking for some 351 Windsor setups, and I was like, well, if you find some, if you find a couple, buy me one. And so he did. How many did you get? I got, got two, two for the price of one. Nice. Was got mine the two. free one? Yeah, yours is free. <laughs> So anyway, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. I'll probably slide it back in the corner. I've got another block uh, for that car, but it needs to be 60 over. So hopefully this one's in pretty good shape. Um, maybe like a 30 over setup and I won't have to go like some kind of weird combo as far as cubic inches. And then I think we're doing some sheet metal work on this bad boy today. I got it. Alright, so here's the plan. We're gonna Ty's helping me do my once every three years cleaning. Because we're gonna need this table to kind of lay out these panels and uh, work them, cut them, get them ready for bead roller. So we're gonna clean off as much of this junk as we can and I'll kind of show you what we got in store for the panels. We just didn't have big it's pieces. easier to do it with tape than chipboard. Well, we'll probably add a little piece of chipboard. I just didn't have a piece of scrap. Oh, uh, okay. Enough. Okay. That radius. Problem is, you won't even see it. Yeah. Once you put that back on, 
Especially if you, do you ever plan on doing like a spray painted? Oh, it's definitely, yeah. So like if he does like a, a lot of times you'll- I'll do a border. Yeah, you do a strip. You do a border, spray mm -hmm. painted border on the underside, you definitely won't see that. My brain automatically Yeah, you're just, you're just spending way too much time. That is what my brain goes to. To what? The Bibster. What about it? The Bibster's not that, it's not, I just cover shit up that I don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That. That's a good thing about this kind of stuff is like it's like it's like sheet rock, man. Yeah. At some point you gonna you can build another little piece that covers up the slap some plaster on and it. And you can make it look like it was meant to be like that. Yeah. Let's just, just make some progress and then we'll Yeah. That's where I'm at with the fox body. Let's make some progress and, and then yeah. we can we can adjust things later on that you don't yeah. necessarily like. What are you measuring right there? Just from that seam. Mm -hmm. All the way to the touch to the wall. Oh, okay, because you know that yeah. distance yeah. is pretty solid. So then we can find the center point up here to there. Flip. Well, we only well, have to find a center point if I do it like this because I know, I know where it's going to touch that wall. Mm -hmm. so we can just loop it over and oh, match. just fit. Okay. Um, so are we going to hard seam this? No, uh, no, no, don't hard seam it. Just uh, yep. like that. Yep. This should be some pretty darn things. Just more of a fine radius. And no, I had a, it was bulged out. Oh, okay. Oh man, look at that. Well, it's just a little bit big. Yeah. What side is what? Is this? Oh, no, it goes like this. Yeah, that would be. Okay, that's good though, because we. It needs a little trimming over here. Okay. Maybe a, uh, a little bit more. I think it looks good. It's a good start for sure. And now we can add a piece in there to get that get that angle. Take yeah. That, dude. All right, so this is the game plan. We're gonna break this up into three sections. So it's gonna be a lower section. Uh, there's gonna be a mid section. It's probably gonna go basically vertical and then we're gonna do this back section here. We're just kind of getting a rough estimate using some scraps. Gonna attach this here to get this radius. And we'll kind of just use some tape to fill the gaps, get us a template, and then we can put it on aluminum and start cutting it out. I usually don't spend too much time on the template, getting it exact because, you know, I can cut the aluminum a little bit big and uh, kind of finesse the aluminum in, in the end anyway. All right, Ty. You want to explain what we did here? Yeah, so we took some uh, big old piece of ram board, uh, took and laid it out and just started trimming it to fit, match this radius. Um, we've got it sitting flat on this plane of the package tray. And then we just, instead of uh, taking and putting a bunch of ram board up here to make these little triangles, we just put some tape and then traced our radius, sliced it, and then this guy, slides up and fits perfect. So what Ty's talking about with the tape is, you know, we were just making this out of scraps. So we use a filler scrap here, but instead of using scrap in this section, we just taped it and flipped it over, taped it to itself on the back side, And it's a lot faster. You're not using as much material. And really it's just easier to work with when you do that. Matter of fact, you can see right here, we had it kind of notched out too much. Little tape, fix it up on both sides. And uh, this template is done. We're ready to put it on some aluminum, start cutting it out. One of the things I do like to do when we're to this point though, I like to rough out a design because you can see it in the car. Yeah. So we're gonna probably rough out a, you know, a design, maybe a couple of them, 
And then that way, when we get to the aluminum, we at least know what we want to bead roll in that, or we have an idea of what we want to bead roll in it. Next step. Let's do it. What I'll do is I'll kind of because this is going to be a chunk piece anyway, and you can't turn this, mm -hmm. so you have to cut this way anyway. I kind of just start it where I'm, I'm going to meet up with this line, and this one cuts twice, so it's going to have a curly Q. So you want to line up that obviously on the inside, okay? Careful, you cut yourself. <laughs> <laughs> okay then, homeboy. I feel you. That dude's my hero to that dude's a guy that I hang out with. He's my buddy. Yeah. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's I think it's kind of cool. I'm glad you do, because I definitely do. <laughs> now it's like I gotta go hang out with that. It's roll a, past it. Roll it along line. Do the wrong line. Yeah. Well you should try to clean. You get the majority stuff of stuff that matters off. Yep. And then like I'll leave that center line just so we have it. Yeah, kind of push down on that just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Almost level. Is that kind of like what you're? Yeah, and it helps. It helps create the bead. Okay. And if you like, let it go. Oh, then it'll. It won't quite roll the bead exact. Right. Which is probably what happened on this end piece. When we started it, we weren't pushing. Mm -hmm. When we finished it, we were pushing and it created a... You know what I'm saying? It created a little bit of a... Mm -hmm. So what the problem is, is that the, it's not that we're not on track, it's the, the inner die distance is separate. Mm -hmm. Probably because of the initial push. The amount of pressure. You tighten it down. <clears throat> we'll see what we can, we can kind of clean it up some. Oh, it's, uh, it's about now. So the other thing we could have done too, as you see now we got some tin cannon. Yeah, that is mainly because we've stretched it. We could have pre-stretched it with, with an English wheel, right? So on your on your lines, you could take mm. an English wheel and literally just trace over the lines, and it's going to expand the metal in that section. And then when you bead roll it, and it pops it up, that extra material that you had in there is then taken up, and the panel stays flat. We didn't do that, and so it yeah. got a little. But with it's this, it's not going to matter for us because we're going to mount it. Plus, it's going to get riveted in. We're going to break this end, and that's going to bring this. It's going to tighten it up. Um, it's gonna pull this. Hopefully we don't. Yeah, hopefully we don't have any trouble out here, which I don't think we will. Okay. All right. 
Now, break it. Take this dude, but it's not going to fit in the. So I think the plan of attack. Um, clean this table a little bit. So we just use this. Mm -hmm. And just clamp it. Yeah, and technically, and we could. Use the table I'm trying to think if we could. I wonder if it'd be better to clamp it this way. Then we can just push it. Or we won't be able to do it this way because that plate won't line up on this. We're going to have to try to make this happen. Hopefully we've got enough grip. The good thing is we could potentially, you know, through the center of this thing, we could bolt it to the table. Mm -hmm. Hopefully there's just enough grip on this that will make it happen. That makes sense? Yeah, so we should line that up with the table edge. You got like a special finger crossed. Legs, hands, everything. Oh, what are we going to? 63? 63 degrees. That's pretty substantial. 63 degrees is a lot. Careful not, you don't want to have the pressure point. This stuff's pretty. One big it's gonna, it's gonna make it a radius. Well, hell, we don't want that. No. Well, I wonder if we broke it huh? up a little bit. I mean, in the past, I have sectioned it where you can fit it in the brake. Mm -hmm. All you do is cut off one inch. Really, all it has to be is like two inches wide. Mm -hmm. I mean, break this side first, break that side, and then. Figure that out, mm -hmm. whatever that means. Or we put like a damn beauty strip in there, whatever. Mm -hmm. I like beauty strips. Okay, back to the drawing board. Beauty strip it is. Let's do it. Let's find you a place. You got, two, you got a twofer, right? We could. I know, I'll just double it up. I'm a big fan of the crooked sticker placement. Oh, yeah. Hold on. All right, so originally we were going to cut out a section in the middle. We've uh, since changed our mind. We're going to cut out the edges where the middle fits and then Probably make some beauty panels to go in here once they're in the car. They'll never know. Unless Ty fudges unless Ty it. tells you. Yeah. Fit? It does fit. No, nope, it's close. Mm. John, I guess we have to be exactly on that line, but you're off a little bit down here. You know, so let's... I didn't cut quite to the. You just gotta run it to. Here, stand up. Put your foot on that. Yeah, okay. Ready? Okay. Yep. Oh, oh. See, I had a feeling. I'm catching over here. Okay. How close are we? You're at 35. 30. 30. 30. Stop. Gotta go over just a little bit. There's a little bit of spring back usually. Yeah, yeah, you're good. All right. Oh yeah. Oh, we can fly. Oh, no worries. I ain't no thing. I ain't no thing but a chicken wing, as the wise Andre 3000 once said. Man, that thing's got some weevil wobbles. Some weevils in it. Do you remember how you... There you go. Yeah, we're going to have trouble with that. Yeah, we're going to break pretty mm -hmm. substantially. Pretty substantial. If it was supposed to be 63, we need to go like another 20 degrees. Yeah. Well, 
rest of the so. Probably gonna have to end up hitting. And I wonder if we left enough space. I bet you we didn't. For to catch this. Maybe we did. Maybe. We'll figure it out. Yep. It don't matter. I mean, where are you? Okay. So what number are we holding? Yeah, I'll bend it. I'll bend it. Stretch it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. See that? Uh, Alright, I think that's a wrap. So, back panel. We got five panels total. Four panels. Uh, everything's bead rolled. Obviously, the scans are still on this, but it is bead rolled basically where you see the lines. And uh, I gotta take it back, kind of finish up some of the details on it before they start cliquing it together or rib nutting it. Make it all fit. Some beauty, some beauty rings. Ty got his. Uh, I got my bead roller experience. He got his bead roller experience. He'll be buying one watch. Won't, won't fail. There you go. Finished, what do you call that? Bulkhead, is that a bulkhead? Rear bulkhead? Rear firewall. Rear firewall. In the old drift car. <laughs>